I have an older sibling, a she, and growing up, eh, we didn't always get along, but then there was times we did get along, but there was more bad times than good. But as we got older, it seems as if it just waned. It was bad. Now, I had been heavily interested in cosmetology. I knew cosmetology like the back of my hand. I had uh, cosmetology books. I would buy all the magazines. When I say all the magazines, all the ma everything that I could find about cosmetology, I bought it. I'd eat, think, sleep cosmetology. I was in love with cosmetology. So, I wanted to do hair. But after a while, I no longer wanted to do it because I seen how there would be situations with people here and of course they're going to get mad at the stylist. And I guess you can get mad at the stylist because she's the one doing your hair. And there's situations that is beyond a stylist control. Like for example, one time while I was getting my hair done, I seen a customer, she had gray hair, and she was trying to dye it. The stylist dyed it, and it still was gray. Her hair just wouldn't take to it. So I never wanted to come across situations like that. That's also disappointing and discouraging, because you would also feel for your clients as well. You want to help them. So afterwards, I decided to be a consultant, a hair care consultant. Being that I knew so much about hair, I remember when Aaliyah had that hairstyle with the swoop over the eye and how cute that was, that really pretty hairstyle. And I said to myself, that looked like John Gooden's work. I came across an article, and she said she had got her hair done by John Gooden. I was like, wow. You know, hard work pays off. So my sister came to me one day, very intelligent, smart woman. She is. I give her credit. You know, it's nothing but the truth. She is. So she comes to me one day and says, she, she hands me a gift, and it's a marketing set, and I was overjoyed. I mean, it was beautiful, and that's an understatement. She had everything. She had the business cards, the notepads, the calling cards, the flyers, and the flyers weren't on cheap piece of paper. Like, you know, some flyers on... Um, like printing paper, just, you know, the flimsy. And it wasn't like that. It, it The grade of paper was excellent. Everything was excellent, top notch. She did a, a wonderful job. So she says, it's on the house. I want to go to heaven. <laughs> Cause she know how she was acting. You know, she would really give me a hard time, but I appreciated it. I mean, I carried around this set for days for everything that it meant, you know, because it was beautiful in itself and the act, the kindness from this sibling who was everything but kind at times. She was the worst. The family member comes over for a visit and I noticed one day how my marketing set it was out of place because like I said I carried it around for days so I knew something it was disturbed 
So my youngest daughter says to me, oh, well, so-and-so wanted to see it. And I'm saying to myself, well, because at the time, my youngest daughter, she was real little. And I'm so I'm saying to myself, you know, if she wanted to see it, why she didn't ask me? You know, why go behind my back to see something? And, but what it was, because the family member would always go to readers. And I guess the reader told the family member what I was doing and explained that it was very lucrative and that I would do extremely well. And if you want to destroy her business, you have to get her business card. So... That's what the whole visit was about, coming to get my card. Because even though, like I said, I knew all there was, I mean, I was on top of my game when it came to cosmetology. And it went nowhere. It went nowhere. And you know how people have a lot of problem, hair, hair problems, and... It went nowhere. I put out my flyers. And I got calls. And it was some calls that was based on, you know, just trying to ask me a question without paying me. You know, without making an appointment. But bottom line, like I said, it went nowhere. And through my research, all of what I'm telling you, I've already done research. So... That's how I can come to the the conclusions that I do because I've, I've seen it in black and white. And the research is there. I paid nothing for it. I went online. I went to the library or watched movies. And, you know, that's what happened. Witchcraft right in your face.